If you're connected to the Microsoft Exchange server with others on that same server, you can give them access to your calendar in order to see what you have scheduled. So that way they don't schedule you on a day and a time that you already have blocked out. And then, you know, double book or triple book you. Now when giving access to somebody to view your calendar, there might be some appointments, events, or meetings that are personal or private, and you don't want them to know anything about them. You can mark them as private. By doing so, it will only display the time scheduled on a date or days, if it's an event, and the subject will be private appointment, nothing else. They can't even double-click to open up the appointment. So, for example, like Easter Egg Hunt, the location is Bagok Farms. If I mark that as private, well, for me, I won't see it here, but if I mark it private and give access to Carrie to my calendar to be able to schedule for me or just see what I have scheduled, It'll just say private appointment, and that's it. And when she double clicks on that, it won't open up. But for my end here, well, I'll see everything. So to go ahead and mark this as private, you can do it one of many ways. You can go ahead and select it, come up here on its related contextual appointment tab, go to the tags group, and there you go, private. You can see in the pop up, mark this item as private so that other people cannot see the details of it. That's a bit simplistic. Other people means, well, other people that you allow access to through the Exchange server to view your calendar. And we'll talk about that in a later training video. Right now we just want to set it up so when I select it and it's marked. See, well, it's highlighted. And down below you won't see it here. If you want to go ahead and hover over it, you can see in the pop-up it's locked, meaning it's private just for your eyes only. Let's go ahead and double-click to open it up. You can see also if you want to mark it after you open it up here, you know, on the event tab, tags group, there it is, private. You can deselect it, but we won't do that. Let me go ahead and close out. And when you go to another view, like let's come up here, go to the Home tab. Let's view it by week. Let me go to the 20th here, actually click on it, and it'll jump right to the Day view. And you can see right there it's locked. So let me come back up here, click on the Home tab, and go to the, let's do the week instead of the work week, and you can see it's locked. So now you know that, hey, that's not going to be seen by anybody else but me. Well, anybody else who I share the calendar through the network with or across the Internet. Of course, if somebody looks over your shoulder, well, busted, they can see it right there. And then to go ahead and remove it, well, with it selected, I can just come up here, and when I deselect it, the lock is removed. Now, anybody who I share this calendar with will see that I'm going on an Easter egg hunt. And then they'll want to join me, and there'll just be too much competition in gathering all those eggs. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.